everyone, I'm student Dr. Thompson and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between an MD medical student and a DO medical student. I am a first year DO medical student and my brother and his wife are our second year MD medical students. We've been able to talk about the similarities, the differences, and essentially uh, that's what I wanted to share with you today. We take the same coursework um, except for one class that I'll tell you about. Uh, we have the same textbooks. We study from the same board preparation materials. I'll be taking the same boards that my brother's taking, um, and I'll be applying for the same exact residencies or the same types of residencies as him. Uh, there will be one residency governing body in America by 2015. So essentially, whether you do um, your first four years of medical school as an MD or a DO, you're going to end up in the same place in residency by the time residency comes around. Okay, so the one difference is osteopathic manipulative medicine. So MD stands for doctor of medicine, DO stands for doctor of osteopathic medicine. And what that is, is back in the 1800s, um, DOs separated themselves from MDs because they were, uh, they had a completely different philosophy on how to care for patients. Now, today, we both practice modern medicine. It's, it's seen as almost identical, save this one class, which is um, learning how to adjust the musculoskeletal system to help treat the body. So if someone has lower back pain, we can provide a, a, an adjustment. Um, though, and though DOs never want to compare themselves to like a chiropractor, from, from the average person's perspective, it might seem like a chiropractic adjustment in addition to the services um, that you would get from an MD physician. We do surgeries, we do everything the same. Um, so there's the one class that's different. We both have four-year medical schools. We both do three, three-year, four-year, five-year, six-year residencies and onwards. Um, now there are about twenty thousand MD students that start school each year versus only five thousand DO students that start start school each year. So there is a four-to-one ratio for for um, spots. Uh, as far as that's concerned. Now, MD students, the average MCAT is about a 31. The average GPA is about a 3.7. DO students, the average MCAT's only a 27, and the average GPA is a 3.5. That's not to say it's um, that you're not going to find, uh, like I go to school with a guy that's got a 38 on his MCAT, and a guy that's got a 36. I have a pretty average MCAT. My brother and his wife, they have, uh, my brother's got a pretty average MCAT, his wife's got a 36. So it, it, it's, um, you're not going to find uh, uh, any kind of, st it's, hard, it's hard to stereotype a, an MD student versus a DO student. A lot of students like myself apply to both MD and DO programs um, that, that are in my school anyway, but there are tons that just apply to DO programs. So um, it's hard to compare, you know, who uh, who would be where if they had their choice. But uh, I would say that it's safe to say that a lot of students want to become doctors, whether they're MDs or DOs in my school. And uh, that's just, you know, from an outsider's point of view, that's that's what I would say. Um, guys, I, I can essentially answer any question that you have about DOs or MDs. Um, or the differences between the two. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stick around for more great videos.